is up everybody hey today's unboxing day we're gonna open up a new slide that we got that we haven't checked out yet so be the first time opening up inflating checking it out and doing a roll on it so stick with us here check it out these are this is my garage these are the slides that we still have not opened yet actually this one we have this is the obstacle course See right there, 50 foot obstacle course. This one we're gonna open today. We have not opened this one yet. So it's 20 foot wet or dry. And I'm hoping we can use the, the badass dolly today. I don't think it's strapped to that big giant slide. So we'll try to use the, the badass dolly. So you guys, there's been a couple people asking about the badass dolly comes with this charger it's kind of a cheap chinese charger um feels cheap it's a plug that i've not really seen before but that's what goes in to the port there's the charging port itself you can see the Chinese writing on the lid of it, so I don't know if it's just the motor that's made Chinese or what, but um, let's see if we can get this puppy out. You can see here, there's a key, turns it on, there's forward, or, oh no, I'm sorry, this is speeds, so fast, Medium, slow, I'll keep it on slow. Over here we have forward and reverse. Uh, it does have a nice brake lock on it. So that'll keep the wheels locked. Uh, if it's not locked here, um, there's like a kind of like a motorcycle throttle, but you can see here. So, let me get it out from under this big mama. We'll try it out. Maybe. I think it might. Just double check. Yeah, this slide is strapped. So let me get it unstrapped from the slide and then we'll get it moving. Okay, so I changed my mind. We're still gonna do the, the slide and unboxing and inflation and roll up of it. But I wanna do more of a video on the badass powered dolly. Um, I, don't, I, haven't, I didn't see a lot out there when we bought it. So I did see a couple of commercials on it uh, when we got it. Wasn't much instruction that came with it. In fact, there was no instruction that came with it. Um, I went down to our local freight yard to pick it up. So they shipped it to the freight company. I had to go down and pick it up with a trailer. It came on a pallet. We also bought the winch for rolling the inflatables. I'll show you guys that. Uh, we might even use it today, but um, let me show you and introduce you to the badass dolly. So here we go. Um, at first glance, I mean, it looks like it should be able to handle pretty much anything. It's got some pretty hefty tires on. I've had a pretty good load on those tires about 800 pounds I don't know maybe close to 800 pounds on it uh, and it handled it fairly well I did notice the motor uh, seems to lag a bit um, when I'm trying to lift some of those but um, I mean it does the job are there some things that I would change would I buy it again uh, I'll let you guys know at the end of this and maybe you guys can help maybe it'll help you guys decide if you want to a uh, couple changes I would make right away. I would make it optional to be able to lower uh, this third wheel or even just have a fourth wheel on it with fold out legs. There's a pin on it, which made me think I could lower this and just get a little bit more length out of that wheel, uh, but you cannot. That's the, that's the only setting that it has on this one. Um, so it also has, um, different configurations on setting it up. So uh, let me kind of, we're gonna go to this wide format. 
And so it has different, different configurations on the setup. You can store it uh, completely flat like that. So it takes up less room, but obviously with the wheels, it doesn't take up less room than a regular dolly. Um, I can fold that down, obviously. It has those hooks on it, which make me a little bit nervous with inflatables because I wouldn't want that to grab an edge and there's nowhere to store those when you're not using them. They just kind of sit out like that. Uh, you can use those hooks and lock them into this place and make kind of a, a carriage build, if you will. <clears throat> like that, almost like a wagon. And you can also open these up all the way. So by loosening this here, extending this out, locking that in place, I can actually have some support and make this a wide dolly like that. Um, if, again, if I had wishes or I could change certain things about it, I would make these have different settings where I could just angle it. Um, so right now you can either lock it there or you can set it there or you can just fold it in all together. Um, so a little bit of configuration, but it would be nice to have that third, just kind of have an angled, um, angled approach for some of those dollies to kind of cradle it in a little bit more. So let's get, uh, let's get an inflatable and let's test it out. Today we're using Big Kahuna. I don't know if that's the official name for it. It didn't have a name on the website. It just said 20 foot uh, wet dry. Um, but we have not opened this one yet, so it'll be fun to see. I don't know how in the world they roll these the way they do in a factory and get them into those bags. Every single bag that we pulled off thus far, we haven't been able to fit back in, so I just started throwing those bags away or maybe cutting them up and use them, saving them for patch kits. But um, anyways, let's get this on. So there's really no way to just, you know, like a regular dolly, just go in and scoop it up. <clears throat> especially if you're working by yourself. It's it's literally just, you know, kind of man trying to manhandle it and walk it uh, or at least lean it up to get that dolly. But that dolly's so heavy and cumbersome um, and it'll get away from you pretty easy once you hit that throttle. Um, so it's, I'm sure we'll learn different techniques or different ways to make it work easier, but um, it's, uh, you can't just go in and scoop it a, a slide up. It's going to take a little bit of work to get it on there and get it prepped. It does hold plenty of equipment. You can see I got the full slide strapped down. I got the blower. I got the cord. Uh, so we can do basically all in one trip. I mean, if I want to put stakes on there, I could do that as well. And the straps and tie downs. I um, wanted to point out something I got off Amazon real quick. This here, cord safe. Uh, it's designed to go around the two ends of the cords once you get it plugged in and it locks in place so if somebody does trip over the cord or something like that uh, it will protect those two ends from coming unplugged and losing power so i found them on amazon i got like a 20 pack i believe it was it was like 70 bucks for 20 of them cut me off um, but anyways yeah that cord safe uh, super super easy investment obviously um we want to do whatever we can to protect uh the clients and ensure that uh, the inflatables are gonna be safe. And if they, you know, someone happens to trip over a cord, hopefully it's not routed in where anyone's gonna be walking, but you know, the kids get, they kind of run around and get excited and you trip over a cord, but at least you won't have to worry about it coming unplugged where it's, where it's tethered to the device. So anyways, let me tip this back. Um, I'm on my own, so see if I can do it on my own. We'll give this a shot with one hand on the camera. First thing I like to do is make sure the power's off before I try to tip it back because it's easy to hit that throttle as you're pulling it back. And like I said, this thing will get away from you pretty quick, but let's tip it back. Uh, you can also, as you're tipping it back, set this brake. That completely disables that motor. So you can turn the key off or you can just set the brake either way. I like to have them both done just as a fail safe, but let's uh, give it a shot here. I'll see if I can set this phone down. Maybe still capture it. Hang on. So there you go, it's pretty steady. Um, obviously it can handle the load. 
let's turn it on. So you'll see here if I do, if I turn it on and that brake, so lights are on and that brake is still on. You'll notice when I hit the throttle, it does nothing at all. So once I disengage the brake, hit the throttle, got it in reverse, kind of takes off from you. Switch it here into forward. I could have changed that button from an on off to a, maybe an F and an R or something. And then the speed control here, he said all the way forward is slow, medium, and all the way back is fast. Uh, I would have reversed it. I would think that's slow, medium, fast there, but oh well, it's not a big, huge deal, it still works. Yeah, I can do it here one-handed. Let's see if I can get a better view, hang on. Let me grab someone to hold the camera real quick. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, hit stop. So hopefully you guys saw that, but I mean, just a little simple nudge of that accelerator and that motor will get away from you pretty quick. And that's what happened on that is I, I hit it. I'm on a little bit of a downward and it just flipped right over. So let's get this slide off. We'll unroll it, get it inflated, and then I'll show you guys the uh, the roller, the winch roller, uh, how we use that. We'll be right back. show you how that cord protectant works now. So now where I've got those two plugged in, you can see it's locked in place. You can't unplug it, and if someone trips over it, it won't come unplugged either. Now, before anyone says anything, this is not for a rental. I am simply blowing it up to test it. So I do not have it staked down right now. Nobody will be playing on it. If we do decide to climb up, I will stake it down. Pretty deep pool. I'm impressed by the size of the pool. And the monster comes alive.
King's Castle inflatables trailer. I like the extra feet down at the bottom to give it a little bit of extra added support. Sometimes these taller slides, I mean, this is only 21 feet, but sometimes these taller slides, they seem to get a little wobbly up to the top, even stake down. Just gives just a little bit of added support. Palm trees begin to erect. That marble vinyl is really pretty, I like it. Not for all slides, but it works on this slide. I've seen a number of different slides where that bottom accent colors was actually just painted on. Um, obviously these ones are, are stitched, so I don't know. I, I, maybe the ones I saw were just a really low quality slide or somebody just bought them really cheap. But, uh, I was not impressed with the painted on those green triangle accent colors on the bottom. gonna step into this pool and get straightened out here. I'm really impressed how deep this pool is. I mean you could just hang out here in the bottom of this pool. I'm six foot and the entry is just right past my knee and the depth here I know it won't be this deep but it's up to my my waist here. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw that other blower on. Okay, here we go. So I did decide after all just to stake it down. Um, a little bit of a breeze. Not a big breeze, but a little bit of a breeze blowing. So uh, I wanted to get the full effect anyways. Probably go up there. But I hooked the second blower up as well. I mean, a lot of this equipment I'm still testing, so I don't have it fully staked down. I don't have any plan on letting any kids go up it but I wanted to test everything so I've got two of the strong blowers on there so it's plenty of power I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the with the quality of the build it's not super heavy uh, I haven't seen any real flaws. Uh, I've seen a couple of little spots on the underside where you know, the vinyl was a little bit, looked like it had been dragged on something, but it wasn't going through. It was just a little scuffed up. So let's take it down. That is our tsunami. So um, next I'll, we'll do the roll up, deflation roll up, and I'll use the winch to, to roll this one up. We'll be back. All right, we are deflating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up these zippers, let all the air get out. Um, while it's deflating, we'll pull the winch out, get that set up, because there's a, there's a process to that, obviously, but I'll show you. It's a little bit different with one hand. I'm gonna set you down for a second. Maybe, maybe not. I like to take these corners of the Velcro and just tuck it right there. Let me grab the, the winch and we'll go set that up in just a second. Okay, so the slide is mostly deflated. I'll probably do a little bit more smashing it down, uh, but wanted to show you 
Um, the folks that made the badass dolly also made this roller. Uh, and some uh, definite perks to it, some disadvantages. Um, so far we've had a pretty good experience. It's a little bit of a pain to work with, but when it does work correctly, it, it works fantastic. So let me just walk you through it real quick. It's got a, um, a built-in battery, rechargeable battery. I don't know where all the parts are from. I'm sure that it came from China as it was put together, but it's pretty, um, pretty robust, pretty sturdy, um, good quality. It uh, recharges, so after each use, you just plug it in to an outlet. Uh, it takes about, I think it said six hours. You don't want to let it die. If it dies, um, it's... Um, well, I, ours died and it just, I just couldn't get it to come back on even after fully recharging. It took a little while and just some finessing and finally got it to work. Um, haven't really messed with any of the components inside, obviously. Um, but that's, that's the battery. Comes with a remote. All your instructions to operate are on the back of the remote. I don't know how easy that is to see. Um, but yeah, there's some, some instructions on the back of the remote. Uh, how to turn it on, how to activate it. Um, and then a winch in the front, obviously. 3,000 pound winch. So what I, there's a spool release here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed again. But there's a spool release there. Once I pop that out, you can kind of lock it in place. And I'll remove the hook here, sorry. You can see I bent the bar right there. Uh, as I was winching one end, I wasn't paying attention and it got all the way to the hook. And so of course the hook started to bend it. Now, the one challenge, and you'll see here in just a second, is I think it's about a hundred foot of this nylon cord. So as we extend it, a couple things you wanna make sure of is one is make sure you have it placed right in the middle of where your slide's gonna line up. Um, you'll also see that I ran out of cord here, and I still have all that to do. So um, I'll show you how, how we've been using it in just a second here, but um, let me get this thing somewhat folded up, ready to, to roll, and we'll come back. 2,000 years later. Okay, so I've got the big giant, it's like a black burrito. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, I'm not a professional in rolling. I'm still learning the business. So I'm sure I'll get some comments <clears throat> on some things I was doing wrong or I could have done better. Uh, absolutely appreciate it. Any comments you guys have. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do a lot of this solo. Again, just starting out, um, my kids are all grown and moved out, so I might be able to rely on them, you know, once in a while to come help out. But you know, for the most part, this is a side hustle on the weekends. And so I want to put myself through an experience of just, um, you know, uh, setting up and removing and packaging up the slides as well. So just kind of getting the full gamut of all of the different pieces of the, of the business. So anyways, what I did is, you, you remember the, the hook only came up to about a quarter of the way of the slide right there. And so what I did is I just got some additional nylon strapping here with the, with the carabiner and ran it all the way up. So the nice thing is, is once that hook gets up to up there, uh, I can remove a section of this and shorten it up again. So uh, what I'll do now is um, grab the winch controller Oh, important piece though is anchoring this down. I did forget one time I, I put just one hook in it and you can see right there how I bent that because obviously there's a lot of weight on these slides <clears throat> so when I was you know sucking it in um, it flipped up and um, and bent that one piece of it so I'm gonna anchor it down here real quick <clears throat> I'm gonna put four in I'll set you down for just a second, hopefully. Uh... Okay. 
Thanks. All right, turn the spool off free wheel. And then to activate the remote, you just hold in both the buttons until you get a red light. There we go. We'll get some tension on it. The other thing you want to pay attention to is how it spools in. Uh, I did notice one day as it was spooling in, this had come over this edge and was getting caught in between that gap. So kind of want to keep an eye on it as it spools in, um, making sure it's going at least somewhat even. I've got some tension on here and we'll go over and start this roll. I probably should have rolled it from the other end this is the small end, uh, but so be it, it's all right. I'm, like I said, I'm learning all the different nuances and things I should have done and could have done, and we'll get it all figured out here. Let's see, I might have to set you down for a second. start and then we'll let the winch take over. As I saw, I don't know if it's the same manufacturer, but the guy was actually able to stand on this as he was winching it in. I mean, I probably could have just rolled this with straps and would have been just fine, but I'll take every opportunity to get that roll as tight as I possibly can. Oops. So obviously my weak strap did not hold up. Hang on one second. This is what happens when you use the cheap uh, webbing. So I bought a big spool of this off some local wholesale company that sells nylon webbing. And as I feel it, it's so much thinner than this actual nylon webbing. So good lesson learned as I'm again learning a lot of different pieces of this. But um, yeah, that didn't hold up to us. So let me grab a new piece. There we go. <clears throat> I had to get a helper to come out and do this. You could probably do it one man, but it's hard to hold the camera. So in a minute here, you can actually get up on that roll and walk it. The hard part of these slides where those stairs are at. Yeah, the world's gonna get high. You weren't, you're not helping me, Harley. What the heck? Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's see if you can walk it. I'm not gonna walk it. It's okay. high. So as that hook gets up here, we'll release that hook and then we'll hook it back up here to we'll shorten it.
There we go. Nice tight roll. Worked good. That's the badass winch and dolly.